Hey guys, it is D-Mike here for another episode of Super Mario Galaxy. Getting to the end of the game here. 96 stars, only 24 more to go. Starting to run out of things to do. Just kidding, we've got plenty to do. Today's batch of stars could be summed up in one word. Um, I would just make a growling sound because that's kind of how I feel about what I'm about to do. If these stars go the way that I believe that they're going to go. So... Doing some secret stars today. This is the first one, and this one is a pain in the butt. If you guys remember from before, there were... There was a star very similar to this one, where... I would be tossing bombs at trash heaps, and you only have so much time to do it. So this is the first of the secret stars today. This one's a little tough. The game does help you out a little bit though. So you see these golden spots in the ground? That's where you're going to want to try to put the bombs. That's the ideal location for them. The only problem with this is that the time limit is very tight, so if the bombs aren't quite in the golden spot location, then you're going to have trouble. Like, I'm already having trouble. I'm already doing great. Well, that side actually did pretty well, so... It's a bit of a bummer. I don't think I'm making this one, but... What's cool that you can do, though, is... You can... Well, of course, you can infinitely do this one, and thankfully it doesn't cost you lives to do it, which is very nice. So just keep throwing the bombs at the golden dots on the ground. I didn't actually know that the first time I tried this. And I was very confused as to what I was supposed to do. So I just kind of kept trying to force the issue without really game planning at all. The only problem is that uh, I'm still not very good at it. So you can replace the bombs though after you throw them. That was probably not very good to do that. Um, so this one's probably going to take me a few tries. It's just very... You basically just gotta get it right on the first try. And if you don't get it right on the first try, then... It's just... Pain. So I'm gonna give this a couple more on-screen tries. And then, worst comes to worst, I don't pull this off. I'm gonna... Do the old cutaway. Because I don't want you guys to have to watch this forever. But yeah, the golden spots in the ground is kind of the... Best place for it. That wasn't very good. It's a little tough to get things directly on the dot, but if you can, that's kind of for the best. That was not good. Getting the bombs set up in the... Yeah, this could do it. Maybe. Eh. If I wouldn't have messed up the bombs on the other side, I would have had it. But yeah, you got to really get it on those spots. You can move the bombs up until they explode, which is good. So it's not like you have one toss. I mean, you kind of do. It's not like you have one toss and then that's it, but getting the bombs on the actual gold dots themselves is pretty pretty much required if you want to get this done correctly, or at least as close as you can to them. It's just hard to really see it until you start throwing it because it's not really exact. If you can get the yeah, see that like this is what's this is the toughest part is uh, you have to get those dots hit pretty, pretty on the nose. Because the trash piles explode very uh, slowly with the bomb. Well, yeah, because of the bombs. So here we go. I'm going to do one more try. One more on-screen try. And see what we get. I've got multiple stars today that I'm going to be doing that require trial and error. So I don't really want to spend forever on this one. Although I'm probably going to. I'm going to try it in a different method here. Just going to throw them as close to these things as I can. As fast as I can. I wish the bombs... That's actually a horrible idea because the bombs don't, uh, don't respawn that way. Yeah, if you can get them on the gold spots when you're supposed to, like I wish I could have, you should be good. And see, this one's almost, almost there. If you can chain reaction the bombs, then that's actually for the best. Because the middle two bombs will set each other off and then you can uh, have them trigger that way. So anyway, not going to waste any more of the time on this star. I'm just going to cut away to the successful run. So I'll see you in a bit.
And that, my friends, is how you blow up some trash. That star was actually making me feel like trash with how many times I had to do it. We'll just say that the amount of takes off camera were a couple. I am perfectly imperfect. That's how I like to run this channel. And for some reason, that bonus star sends us back to Rosalina. So Toad is actually going to trigger a semi... It's not really a side quest, but it uh, was something that I forgot to do earlier. So when you go over here to where the garage is, you can talk to Luigi. Well, he was over there. I guess he's not because he's in danger, but normally he's over there. So talking to Luigi will have him send you letters on various stars that he is lost in. This is a pretty easy one. I mean, all of them, realistically speaking, finding him in these levels isn't too bad, but... He's a missing, so we gotta go get him. We're basically doing almost exclusively hidden stars today. So I bet you, uh, take a second, see if you can find Luigi. I don't know if you can. It's pretty tough. They did a good job of hiding him in this very suspicious mission here. And he does somehow have a power star. So Luigi has been holding out on us. It's a good way to get yourself kneecapped in the parking lot. So we'll take that. That's two stars in not a long amount of time if you count the actual minutes of me being on screen. No one has to actually know that this is quite a ways away from when I started. So that's two. If things go well, I might be able to get a hundred by the end of this recording. We'll see. Doing my best for the fans. Actually, I'm going to try to... I know that I, I riff on this power-up because I think it's pointless, but... I think to save myself some time, I will take this. Use the old Flying Mario, which is only available in a retail store near you. So we're actually going to go up and I'm going to do the Hungry Luma outside the gate that I did not want to do earlier. I still don't want to do this if I'm being 100% honest, but it's required, so I will. I will go to the Booze Boneyard Galaxy. This is the one Hungry Luma that I have not done yet. Oh, I don't think I can fly to it. <laughs> so we're going to have the game warp us back up here. I don't think I've ever seen that happen before. I guess that's what I guess that's what happens when you have the flying power up and you're trying to enter a launch star. You really can't. So this is the second spooky speedster race. The first one was so much fun. So let's go ahead and have a second one. This one is a little tougher, I believe. Or not, I don't remember. This is mildly foreign to me in terms of what I remember this being. So we're going to find out. You'll be along for the ride no matter what. So we actually have to go find the spooky speedster. This is a fight where you are using the boo power up. So... It is a boo-on-boo boo race. Pretty ghastly, if I do say so myself. There isn't a real way to, like, do this one better, I guess, in terms of speed. Because there's only... You can only move so quickly when you're going down these areas. Also, I mean, I've already ruined it for myself because... I hit the wrong button. Using the boo power up is Y, not A, so I goofed. There are like wind streams that you can take, which push you a certain way. I'm pretty sure this is the opposite way that it wants me to go because the wind stream is not this way. I bet following the arrows and the direction of the blow-ins would have been good. Whoops. So we're just gonna meander now at this point. 
I think we've already kind of doomed our chances. What else is new? Nothing that was done well in the world was done on its first try. That's what I tell myself so I can sleep at night. I bet Boo is probably already down there, dancing around, laughing at us. There he is. Just a little insult to injury with the big fat you lose. So the best time of 1.30 is very deceiving because 1.30 is not good enough to finish this. So we'll do this again. My favorite part of these stars is that they make you go through all the goings-ons to get there. Because, I mean, what's more fun than repeating a star than having to get to where you start it? That makes it way more fun. So, let's take this a little more seriously. That was actually a tutorial run, you know, once again, showing the fan base what not to do. It's for your health. But yeah, once again, there isn't really a way to get faster through this part. I mean, I guess like the boo power-up thing does kind of like spit you out a little bit forward, but you can use these little... Um, Wind bursts to kind of thrust you forward. Avoid these springy things. Those are trouble. Those will slow you down. But other than that, there's not really a ton that you can do besides using those to your advantage. Actually, I feel like I'm doing pretty well this time. This is actually kind of almost a, like a 180 from what I did last time. I'm absolutely crushing this. So Boo can suck on that. Yeah, this was definitely a lot easier than the First spooky speedster race. That one was miserable. Did not enjoy that. I think that's probably just because the pole star mechanic is so hit or miss. So let's go ahead and float next to this beautiful star. That's a pretty, uh, it's cute, right? Take our prize. All right, so that wasn't too bad. That's three stars. We're gonna do one more just to cap it off. For some reason, all of the all of the stars like this bring you back. And this one makes sense because it was a hungry Luma, so I get that one. Not gonna save yet. We got one more to do. I'm gonna check the map because I forget where it is. So bear with me for a second. Hopefully, I can actually do it right now. I'm looking for where is it? I'm trying to do. There it is, Beach Bowl Galaxy. So that's in the kitchen. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this one the way that I want it to. I think that it might try to railroad me into doing the the purple coin mission. Ugh. What's a better way to spoil like a day at the beach than to have to pick up a bunch of garbage? That's how I feel right now. But these stars have been pretty quick today because of the way that this episode is going to be edited. So when you have purple coins in transit, I don't think you're going to be able to, to escape them. So unfortunately, this is not what I intended to do. Once again, purple coins throwing me off. I've got a schedule. I've got a way that I like to do things here. This channel is meant to be well rehearsed and ship shape. Everything is very intentional and well planned and not accidental at all. So let's go ahead and do this super fun mission. Purple coins, I think there are exactly 100 on this one. So you basically have to just do what they tell you. This one's kind of tough too, because there's like certain stars that are coins. I'm gonna, I'm gonna refer to these coins as stars 100 times, I guarantee it. Certain coins in this mission that are on surfaces that initially when they program this, I don't think that they intended for them to be scalable in the way that you have to. So there's that, that's fun. But we're collecting a bunch. We are going all around this wonderful paradise. Oh, I didn't know, okay. So I guess you can grab them when you do a Luma jump. I didn't think that you could. So sometimes that's head or miss. I don't really appreciate that. I wish it would just be consistent. Grabbing coins with your Luma jump. I don't know if it is. Maybe it's just because I was underwater for a second. I don't know. I don't like it. The game feels like it's playing tricks on me. Thankfully, this one is pretty hard to die on. 
I don't know if you can. I don't know if there's things in this mission that can hurt you. So, at the very least, you have the benefit of not having to deal with that. But there's this, uh, thing. This is cool, right? Fun, swinging around in circles. Hopefully Mario doesn't have, uh, any sort of motion sickness. I imagine barfing on a, uh, on a vine is not great. The thought of Mario swinging around on that and then spewing various types of Italian pastas and meats all over the place would be kind of comical. Probably not for the people that would have to be a part of that. But what better way to make this star amazing than to force players to use the spring power-up. We love that. It's the best power-up in the game, so getting to use it in a mission uh, with the purple coins, which is the best part of the game, is awesome. It's my favorite. I think I got all the ones in the water, but I'm not entirely sure. I'm going to take a peek here. Trying to switch the camera around here is not ideal. But I'm going to hold off as long as I possibly can to get that spring power-up, because it makes things a little more cumbersome. But yeah, in general, once again, this is not a difficult purple coin mission. It's just tedious, and you have to sort of go out of your way to get everything. But the not dying part is really good. The Honey Hive purple coins was the one that really frustrated me. Being unable to get to the spots that I needed to without dying, especially when I was really close to having all the coins I needed. And that is a pain in the behind. But no worries, everybody. We're not dying today. We are just going to be getting one coin with that power-up. We'll come back. Also, what a better way... What better way? Excuse me. What better way to spend time at the beach than to, uh... To Naruto run. Naruto run. Is that how you say that? The Naruto run. Near the water. What a great time. So I'm actually going to see if I can do this. It actually seems a little easier. It makes Mario a little more one-dimensional. Or two-dimensional. Oh, just kidding. Ha! Why would, why would that have worked? That's silly. Anyway, well, I guess while we're down here, we're going to collect the coins that are underwater. This will be our last star of the day, even though it was not intended. I like to end it on a nice round 100. And we'll have 20 more. That's probably about another five or six more episodes before this Let's Play is complete. A little bittersweet, but we've got big things coming up. Kind of on the fence about a couple of new projects that I'm brainstorming doing. So we'll see what I what I eventually decide on. I've got some stuff that I would say is a bit of a blast from the past. I've also got stuff that I would... That's stuff that I wanted to do on my old channel actually a long time ago, but I never got around to it. Didn't have the resources. So that'll be neat. I'm sure all of you will enjoy that. I don't want to stray too far from my plans on this channel, but at the same time, you know, it's kind of fun to play around with different types of genres of games. All right, so let's jump on these leaves carefully. They're a little precarious. Check out the sweet view. You're heckin' right. This penguin's got his head screwed on straight. Okay. So... Yeah, those projects will be... One of them is guaranteed. That's gonna be the follow-up to this. But... There are still some projects that I'm in the midst of considering... As like a mini-series. The only... Thing I'm just being careful with is I don't want to overload myself because... There is quite a bit of work that would be involved with adding more to my upload schedule. So don't get me wrong, I love making content and uploading stuff regularly, but I don't want to get too overzealous with what I'm trying to do. I don't want the content to suffer. So I think I need to grab the... Oop. That's not what I meant to do. I, there's a, a swing over here that I need to grab. I think I can get to that... I'm not entirely sure where I get the... 
I think I can grab it here. All right, that worked. Wasn't expecting that too, but it did. So kudos to me for being adventurous. All right. So there's just this last one out here on this platform that I completely missed. Don't worry, everybody. That was intentional. I was trying to show you that if you overshoot that platform, you will miss it. So swing more carefully. And also make sure that when you're trying to jump out of the water that you uh, can or not. I don't know. Maybe you just... Maybe the game just doesn't want you to do that from this spot. Okay. So we were able to negotiate with the game to let us do that. I'm going to take this swing one more time. Not swing as hard as we had previously. That'll do it. So we got 21 more coins to get. I see one down here that I missed. This is such scintillating gameplay. I hope you're all enjoying this. I don't honestly know if there's a better way to do these missions. When I play through these games and I make content, I don't really spend a ton of time trying to rack my brain on how to display the content. I think it's more fun to just kind of go for it. Things are more authentic that way and you'll you can hear the palpable frustration of my voice. I think that's enjoyable, right? That's what everybody loves. So we've got this spring power up. I think it, there I think I need to go higher. I believe that getting up on these secondary areas up here where we collected some stuff. There actually, I believe that there's a there is a hidden star we missed. So I say that like you guys are also playing this. There's a hidden star that you guys missed, and uh, honestly, you're doing irreparable harm to your reputation. So if you guys could like step it up and you know pull your weight, that'd be awesome. It's just like doing a group project in grade school. Then you got some people over here picking their nose, fiddling around, not paying attention. Come on, guys! I can't do this all by myself. Or can I? So yeah, I do think that I need the spring power up the entire way up here. I don't think I can get away with just triple jumping here. Maybe I can. All right, no works. Never mind. Just kidding. We're almost done. Hopefully there's seven coins up here. That'd be great. That would mean I didn't miss anything. But that's wishful thinking. Okay. Try that one more time. So we have this. I don't know if I can run up this one. Or if I'm even supposed to. Oh, there is. There is. There are coins up there. There is coins up there is what I just said. That's good English. I'm losing my grip on reality. That's fun. Nothing like a little mild delusion while you're playing your video games, everybody. I think the game is kind of trying to hamstring me into using this power up. We're going to avoid the water because that's danger. But yeah, I, uh, I am kind of sad about the fact that this is almost done. I've, I've really been enjoying recording this. It'll be the second Let's Play recorded and completed on this channel, which has been really fun. I'd really love to be able to get this coin without much more fanfare. But yeah, it'll... Um, It'll be the, the second Let's Play done on this channel, and I had hesitations with coming back in the first place to make content again, and I didn't know if I really wanted to or if I would have the heart to do it, because that was part of why I made a comeback a long time ago on my original channel, and I didn't really have the heart for it. My content kind of suffered because of that. So I guess I'm just kind of... Oh boy. One more. Here we go. I guess I'm just kind of glad now that I feel like my... My mental health is good again, my energy is back, my enjoyment of playing games and recording is back. I actually can do things the way that I want to now. I think that's been a big motivator for me, is actually being able to make the content the way that I envisioned a long time ago instead of having to use a crappy outdated laptop. I'm actually making top tier stuff for you guys. So here it is everybody, Star. Numero 100 oh. So how about that, everybody? Hopefully you enjoyed this episode. It's been a blast. We're going to knock out some more of the secret stars and purple coin stars next time. I'd just like to thank everybody for watching. I've been D-Mike, and I'll catch you guys on the flip side.
Now I can say bye. Bye.